Hi everybody, it's Victor Conti here from Snack System again to talk to you a little bit about some of the equipment and gadgets and and uh, what we're doing to keep everybody health and safety uh, here at Snack. Uh, the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is this oximeter that we use. It's the same one that we use with all the world-class athletes. This specifically one that I have here on now is from a company called Massimo and it's called a Mighty Stat. And this is uh, the top of the line. And compared to a normal oximeter here that most people will, will likely end up uh, using if they decide that, that they'd like to get one. Um, but what this one measures is five different parameters. Uh, blood oxygen saturation, pulse or heart rate, breath frequency, hydration, as well as blood flow rate. And recently there was an article that came out in the New York Times uh, talking about silent hypoxia. And with the athletes here at Snack, we do uh, low oxygen training or, or hypoxia, where we actually take their blood oxygen down to, to a plus or minus 80%. And then, uh, you know, this through the adaptive mechanisms, this uh, enhances their ability to, to utilize oxygen. And so a lot of these world-class fighters that we work with have these oximeters. This is a, a special one that costs about $300 called the Mighty Stat. But uh, others can buy these from somewhere between uh, 25 and, and 70, 75 dollars that will give you your blood oxygen saturation and pulse. And this specific article uh, that I read recently in the New York Times uh, that used the phrase silent hypoxia uh, indicated that people would not even know that they had low blood oxygen saturation or oxygen levels until they would fall down and hurt themselves or in some other way end up from a different symptom in the hospital and then they would measure their blood oxygen saturation and find out that it was very low. Now to put it in perspective, normal is somewhere between 94 and 99 percent. With a little physical activity, some of the elite athletes we do see them register 100 percent but for the most part, uh, you'll see a normal between 94 and 99. And I recently uh, saw a video of a doctor that had had coronavirus himself, and he treats uh, coronavirus patients, and he indicated that, you know, normal as indicated is in the high 90s, and when his own blood oxygen saturation got down, and he said when he saw it hit, 90 and then 89 and then 88, he realized as a physician that this was abnormal and he uh, decided it was time to go to a, a nearby medical facility. And of course he was tested and found out that uh, he did in fact have the coronavirus. So this is something that on a daily basis, uh, when everybody comes in to snack, we use these uh, non-contact uh, thermometers where it's very simple to just press a button and and get within six inches of your your forehead and get a quick measurement. And of course, as everybody comes in the door, we, we make sure that they, they have a normal temperature or, or they're not allowed to come in and, and go to work. So this is very important uh, that everybody should be taking their temperature. And there's, there's oral, there's what they call contact thermometers. We actually rub it across your forehead. And then these non-contact are the ones that we use, and I believe that these are these are the best and the most convenient and easy to get those readings, which is, is very important. And uh, back to, for just a minute, this, uh, this Mighty Stat, as you can see, it's connected. This specific uh, oximeter is connected to an app. So you can see that right now my blood oxygen saturation is 97. The uh, breath frequency is 15. My heart rate is 54. Uh, the pleth variability, it's called, which is really a level of, of hydration. Uh, you want to be, as you can see, the red, then you can see the white. This is where the normal range is. And of course, the, uh, this, uh, what they call the perfusion index, which is a blood flow rate. So this gives you lots of information, but, but more specifically to coronavirus, the blood oxygen saturation is what you want to look at. And uh, once again, I'm not giving medical advice. I'm not a medical doctor. 
I'm just drawing from experience working with world-class athletes and specifically with boxers uh, to let you know that it's important to take your blood oxygen saturation levels and you know you may not be feeling symptoms and you may not even realize that you have blood low blood oxygen levels uh, but other symptoms people pass out there's all sorts of things that can happen but to go back and give you the the normal range once again it's 94 to 99 and as your numbers go down uh, and you get below 90 that's at a point where you may want to contact your physician and head to a medical facility and once again I'd also like to let you know that here's the more simple type that you know, it's in the range of somewhere between $35 and $75, and they're widely available at pharmacies. And I know a lot of people have been um, buying these, and you see out of stock on Amazon and different places. But eventually, they'll, they'll get stock back, and you should be able to get one of these. And I think it's just something that everybody should do on a daily basis is take their blood oxygen saturation levels and their temperature. Uh, so once again, stay safe and be healthy.